me switch it so y'all can see our faces. Hey, what's up, Hello. good people? It's nice to see you. All right, so, uh, oh, it didn't start yet? Oh, yes, it did. Here we are to hang out with all y'all. So let us know how it's sounding. It sounded good on our tests. But of course, it's always appreciated to have you guys help. Now, today, Mr. Bob Roberts. Hello. Good to have you here, man. Always a joy. Always fun. And uh, this is a fun one, too, because we're going to be talking about death threats today. And so we're going to start in our army screen because we need you guys to help us with a, cho a choice. I was going to say a voice, which is almost right. We need your voice to give us your choice to vote. We want to know who we're going to be sending a death threat after. So we have three choices here for you today. First, let us show you Kuga. Kuga the dangerous, the crazy, and uh, also known as the poisoner. Vulnerable to stealth, fear of grouts, and also has a poison weapon, which is pretty legit. People are saying 1v1s. Oh, man. Let's see. What's another one we got? Gubu. My personal favorite name. Uh, Bob, <laughs> can you lead us out with this one? What's special about Gubu? All right. So different tactics here. With flammable. So if we go after him, we'll mm -hmm. blow lots of things up. <laughs> uh, fear of executions, which, uh, again, advanced maneuver here if people aren't aware. If you trigger their fears, that also disables their immunities. So right. that means that we could use arrows against him or curse him. Eat it, Gubu. It's my favorite line I've seen so far. <laughs> uh, and then, let's see. And so the last guy, which should be Krook. Krook the Firebrander. Sickly. So poisoning this guy would be good. That's, that would be the worst helmet to fall off of something with. If those spikes <laughs> go back the other way. Oh, no. He's got his Eye of Sauron brand ready to go. Mm -hmm. uh, fear of pinning, so if we knock him off the Karagor and then and it's put to the ground, that'd be good. Yeah. Fireproof. Cool. So we're showing you these guys because we're, we're gonna be sending a death threat at one of them. And uh, we wanted you to kind of pick our poison in a way. So who are we gonna be fighting? Vote is open now. Remember it's exclamation mark vote and then the name. So like exclamation mark vote Gubu, exclamation mark vote Krook, or exclamation mark vote Kuga. And we're gonna collect that. And during this time, we're gonna grab ourselves a worm. Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and uh, let's find one real quick. There you go. Thank you all for the votes. For those of you who are uh, in other locations, we're tracking these votes as on Twitch. As I've been fighting for a hundred years. May you never learn what it is like to fight for a thousand. That is actually a pretty deep comment from Mr. Kellebrimbor. Let's see. He's just. Real quick. <laughs> I was about to ask. I was like, this doesn't look like worm hunting. Let's see. All right, so we're entering the Wraith world to do this. If you guys recall, it allows you to look through walls, find targets, and right now we're looking, and I'm checking the minimap too. Uh, oh, you're gonna sneak, let him go by? Yeah, come on. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> He's probably a tracker. Yeah. That might have come out a little yep. loud. Uh, you're gonna have to run, good man. All right, here we go. Not today. Oh. All right, it looks like Goo is taking the lead. Bring him flight. But Eagle Hammer. Cost, I agree. The cost to those around him. The cost to himself. The time has come for this debt to be paid. Death's wings beat, and its eyes are focused squarely on you. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That was a really impressive speech, but I am going to just leave you in the dust now. It's a beautiful monologue. He's trying to get into a play for Shakespeare. Slawick. Ah! Agreed. All right, guys. So it looks like you have all voted on Gubu as our target. So I'm going to close. And then people are still asking about streaming shirtless. Post-launch, I think. There we that go. sounds like the safest time. All right, so Gubu was our selected one. Let's go ahead and climb and get one of these worms to help with us. Looks like he's all Thank you, Lord Hewlin. That's very nice of you to say. Let's see how well they handle the real. Do not resist. All right. So similar to Shadow of Mordor, the death threat requires a worm, so you can, to go off and tell the individual, "We're gonna go kill you." We're going after Gubu. We're going after Gubu. All right, death threat, Gubu. We're coming for you. So, Bob, what happens when you death threat? All right. So he's going to level up five times. Whoa. Uh, he's also going to go on a special mission. We're going to have to do a little more work to uh, take him on. But he, he knows we're coming for him, so he'll be prepared. Right. And uh, it also means, most importantly, that he will for sure drop an, at least an epic piece of loot. Oh, that's, so. that's fantastic. We're very excited to show you guys this. Because oh. 
I mean, some of the our epic loot, being that our gear system is one of the new things of Shadow of War, it's just going to be extra fun. Almost in Shadow of War door, it's just going to be extra fun to be able to show you guys the extra abilities that you're able to get in this almost like builds that you can create using these pieces of equipment. All right, so Gubu is a, a savage base class. We're going to have to kill a bunch of his savage followers to bring him out. Wait, we talked about him earlier, how he was going to be harder because he's a savage tank. That's true, he's <laughs> a savage tank. And you still decided <laughs> Well, they decided. I didn't... <laughs> oh, I agree. All right. Gubu, soon I will have you. <laughs> that sounds more like we're going to dominate him than we're going to take him out. Here we go. So zero of ten. So I gotta kill ten savages. Uh, I I tend to like to do these quests from the rooftops. Like I try and stay stealthy as long as I can uh -huh. around the fort because when the alarm goes off, it just gets crazy. I'm kind of a stealth player in general a lot of times. I consider it to be more an active stealth when you take because you're not exactly quiet up here. People look up and an arrow comes flying down. So it's a different type of stealth. Like people know you're up there. So I, I shot that bait, so hopefully we'll get some friends uh, of the bestial variety in to help in a minute here. Right. See, True Toast had a question, which was, do we only use worms now for death threats? Yes. Yes, worms are the way to go to get all intel and death threats. There is one exception. Ah, uh, right. You can find the, the intel pickups in the world, too, right. on a corpse or on a bulletin board somewhere. Mm -hmm. So there are, you can find intel that isn't associated just with worms, and you can use that as well. Uh, Kira Animes. Wait, Talion says orc names? He does. When you do the death threat, he announces the orc name that he's going after. As we saw a second ago. Oh, in the throat! Alright, you have seven more to go. So there's strategy that can be related to this bit too, because uh, Bob is making sure to just go nice and quick by minimizing, especially because savages will block your attack straight on. So I really like the fact that you've been using the Shadow Strikes, that just skips that problem. Here you are, however, doing it your way with an execution. I like it. Uh, reason being, do you have to use a captain to death threat? Reason being, you target a captain with a death threat. Uh, but there is also War Chiefs, Bob. No War Chiefs, correct? <laughs> right. Uh, the uh, the captains are are your death threat targets down in the the pit below the fortress. The to pit. get a War Chief, you have to do his drought mission already anyway. Right. And uh, and you always use a worm to issue the death threats. So. Correct. Are these guys actually gonna fight each other down there? Maybe. I'll just, we're not gonna give them a chance. <laughs> and the winner is the right orc. Good for you, Uruk. You know, I haven't thought about using that as a strategy to get through the savage's axes. Do the shoulder pound and then knock him over. It's a good one, knocking him down here. I'll, I'll oh, try one uh, right. another, another version. This, oh, I slid past him. <laughs> there you go. Uh, there you go with the slide. Let's see. Uh, Pro 24 is Zach. Bob is playing on normal difficulty right now. It's uh, it's actually it's good to have someone else uh, show up. Gumu's here. I hear someone wants me in. Well, here it is. Come and get it. It's a pretty bad. Yeah. Fear of ex. Oh, he leveled up. Oh. Okay. Okay. So fear of execution. That's good. That's that's an uh, important one. So yeah. So since he leveled up five times, uh, they can when they level up, they can lose weaknesses. They can gain right. strength. So he lost that uh, weakness, but we can still use the fear. Mm. And let me see what to avoid. Okay, Arrows. No, okay. No ranged. Last. Uh, hand. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He does. I thought he had the other one, the second wind kind of thing. Oh, yeah, no, this is the if you're alone with him. So yeah. I don't actually want to clear out all of the buddies around him. I should focus on him while he's in the middle. And right. he's a tank, so it's going to take a while. Here we go. All right, let's do this. So strategically, we're going to make sure to use execution on him because that'll daze him, which will make him easier to attack because he won't attack back. And he'll also be grabbable. So you have full might, so you can go ahead and rock it. Little Mirian piece, we'll pick that up later. And then remember that in this area, there should be plenty of things to drop and shoot around him. Like that Karagor, for example. You've gone to a lot of trouble to get me out here. I know you want me dead, and the feeling's mutual. 
broken for him. Perfect. So, okay, so remember, since he's dazed, I can bypass the ex uh, the immunity to range and right. get a few headshots oh, on him. Shot. Oh, no, I could have if I That was arrows. an amazingly Matrix moment, though, to see that hammer oh, put no. a mace right by your head. Oh, man. Uh, so to your left, there is elf shot. So and it's, uh, it's on the lower through that bridge. All right. I'm there's also a fire. Try and take advantage of the days. Oh, oh, he's out of he's it now. out of it. All right. Oh, no. Car Car oh, no. Car 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 Smash C. It looks like he's been crying as mascara's running. I mean, I could see it. Orcs oh, are very yeah. emotional creatures. So you got the fire pit and the grog barrel right there. There we go. All right. Let him get a little closer. Oh, this is a nice, juicy group. Perfect. And you got 20, so you have full another execution to go here. Oh, what nice. are you going to do with Slice first? The double execution. Ooh, broken. he's down and broken. And, and the fear triggers oh. again. Fear's triggered. Oh, oh long time. Oh, no, oh long time. Oh, man. Let's see. <laughs> Flaming Karagor knocked him down. <laughs> I cool. love it. Let's see, Antares, Luna, O3, A, and are tanks larger than other troops? Tanks? This guy right here we're fighting, um, who we, Kubu, 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 Kubu. Oh, here we go. No, this isn't over. Shoot. Not yet. Right, he's a tank. Yeah, uh, death defying. I was hoping he was going to do that. There's the Grog Barrel too, which will right next to you. It's going to be on the right side. Give it a quick oh, there's spiders. We got oh, spiders. Because, oh, that's right. We unlocked the spider move. Uh, the So when you uh, attack... Uh, there we go. <laughs> that uh -huh. was awesome. Uh -huh. Can you, you say gotcha every time they try to scare Talion with words? Gotcha, man. Will do. This again. No. So not a dank tank, a dark tank. And that is a tank. He's just... Like, the tanks can be Uruk sized. They're not necessarily bigger. But you could find like an Olog that has a tank as well. I need to get... Oh, no. Nice. Oh, Bob. Oh, no. Oh, he's... he's. Oh, he's taking advantage of it. He's healing. I gotta knock him out of this. Destroy the town. Oh, he's arrowproof! Oh, okay, okay. okay, You gotta knock some of those Karagor bait bits down, man. Right, you're right. Okay, where are we? Where run, are we run it, Running uh, towards us, physically. Right, here we go. There you go. Follow you're, me. You're gonna run underneath the Karagor bait. It's just above your head. Oh, whiff! <laughs> Three feet in front of you! I need to get my pig counter up. Throw him into the lava. Need another execution. All right, you almost have. Block that. He should be there. Oh, one more oh. hit. He's oh, adapted, adapted to this. Oh, jeez. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> people are recommending that we gain allies. Oh, there it is. We don't need no allies. <laughs> All right. Death threat on it. All right, let's see what he drops. All right. Everybody, get out of here. Ooh, an epic room. Be afraid. And it's got some XP. Alright, go ahead and grab that. Sunroom. Alright. Sunroom from Gubu the Jaded. Right, right. So we can always remember you. <laughs> so one of the ideas with Epic, you guys can see that there's an increase in how much focus, because rings increase your focus, which is what allows you to send out Killer Brimbor as a Wraith, or increase your chain uh, when you're doing Shadow Strike, how many chains that you can attack, and things like that. Uh, also, we have a challenge associated with it, and we have an ability that's currently unlocked. Okay, so the, the rare pieces will have a bonus property. Uh, epic pieces will have two bonus properties, one that you get right out of the gate. So we already have 41% chance to recover all health when killing a captain. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the locked bonus property, recover 11% health per second while we're in Elven Rage, requires us to kill an enemy during Elven Rage. So That's going to be a fun one, actually. Yeah. So... Um, Let's see, recover eight health per second when Elven Rage is active. Oh, that's cool. So you, you, it's kind of like an Elven Rage build sort of inspired. Yeah, so let's let's equip this. Let's track the challenge track as well. Track the challenge and see where we're at on the Elven Rage meter. Right, we're, we're almost there. there. We're getting there. Yeah. Do you want to um, go off and do a second death threat and then in that sure. process we can complete this one? Let's find another one. Go ahead and grab that gem too while we're at it. Oh, yeah. yeah, that'll be a, a helpful thing. These, um, this is, this particular gem will actually increase, uh, damage on our weapons if we slot it into one of our weapons. Let's see. Um, let's, uh, let's open up the vote again for all y'all to do that real quick. So, it was Kruk and Kuga for the last two that we had. 
So let me make sure I'm not going to accidentally flip our camera around a bunch. I will not. Krook, Kuga. So we're going to reopen that vote. Krook and Kuga. Remember it is exclamation mark vote Krook or exclamation point vote Kuga. And then we'll choose out of one of those two guys uh, who we should go for real quick. And we already have ready to go. So we're going right. to make it quick because it's a... Uh, Short vote. Yeah. Who are we going after next? I'd say currently Krook is in the lead. Krook the firebrander. Yeah, yeah. Still in the lead. <laughs> vote Aslar. For those of you <laughs> voting Aslar, you might want to. It will track your vote. It just is known as an invalid vote. Let's see. Kuga, Krook, Kruga. I keep saying Kruga. Krook is still consistently up top. All right. All right Krook let's it let's is. do Krook. We're doing Krook. All right, so mark him with the death threat. Mm -hmm. Jared, you want to tackle this one? Oh, hell yeah. Would love to. I put... You know, yeah, I'll float that right there. Is it? Thank you, good man. All right, so we're going to go after... I, I like the sun rune. That's exciting. It's uh, The extra focus is always a super helpful one. Should we equip our um, uh, gem that we just picked up as well? Oh, yeah, good call. Yeah, let's do that real quick. Let's grab that. So if you guys haven't seen this yet, you can unlock gem spots. And the first one, free, thousand to unlock each one at that from Mirian, which we you, they were dropping in the middle of the fight. Right. And it's uh actually let me go slow for this. I just running through this because I wanted to show you guys the death threat. Right. So every gem has uh, three different things it'll do. If you put it on one of your weapons, it'll increase the damage of the weapon. If you put it on the armor or the cape slot, it has a more broad ranging uh, increase, but of a lower uh, intensity. And then if you put it on the rune, then it's going to apply more to your followers. The ring is all about domination, so it's going to buff your allies. So we just threw it on the sword. So we're just going right. to do a little bit more damage with our sword all the time with the, the little red rune. That's the idea. Let's climb up. Or gem, rather. Actually, here's some of the, an example of intel that's just left around. Which is, uh, we already put the death threat on the guy, yeah, so we, we need to do another one. Yeah. Uh, okay, so where is this guy? Oh, yeah. Should you, be right you here. You found it. Yeah. Boop. Into the fire. So what do we have today? Releasing his drakes. Oh, that's going to be a fun one. Nice. Uh, let's see, Maverick 45er. Sorry, I didn't want to talk over Talion. So uh, the way you find gems are treasure orcs are one of the ways, or killing large beasts like drakes or also, grogs. Also, uh, you'll see the tribal monuments around the zone, and if you destroy those monuments, you get some XP and, and a gem out of that as well. Oh, yeah, exactly. Let's see. Me. Quick stabberoonies. So you gotta release his two drakes. It's two drakes, okay. So that should be just in that direction. So it's a bit of a race in that way. Let's see, we have a question. The damage about the followers, is it also done during a pit fight? What an interesting question. Bob? Uh, what's the question? The question was, if you were adding a red gem to one of you, the ring, would that increase the follower damage in a pit fight? Uh, that is a good question. I uh, to be honest, I don't remember whether it is based on the guys who are within a radius of Talion, uh -huh. uh, since it's you know it's powered by the ring. So if the ring is nowhere nearby, I don't remember how far away we made that viable. So oh, I'll have to do some experiments and see. Right. I think this might be the first time we've shown uh, Drakes in these cages like this on our live stream. I, we we really? showed that we had the. Um, let's get a good look at it real quick. We've had this before in from, the fort assaults, right? Yeah, the fort assaults. Yeah, normally they line these things up at the gates during the fort assault, so it breathes fire out right. uh, through the gate to mess up the oncoming attackers. But uh, we'll on fire. we're kind of sneaking in here before they're prepped for defense. All right, let's, uh, let's get out of here. <laughs> it's a little angry. So I saw a couple people asking questions that were unrelated to our death threat stuff. Just uh, as a reminder to keep the questions at shooting at me. Keep the questions focused to uh, what we're discussing today. This death threat got me curious. Out of all the orcs in Mordor, what drew you to me, eh? Makes me want to cut you open and see what makes you tick. Alright, okay, so he's still sickly. This one will probably go a lot faster. And he's still afraid of pain. Oh yeah, that's a that's a good one. Sickly is gonna work pretty well. So I don't recall. Let me check I'm being lit on fire. <laughs> There's a Drake. Let's see. Let's go ahead and uh, let's set our power shot to sickly. 
Oh, nice, yeah. That's right there, yeah. So you can, remember how you guys can switch your augments on your abilities? We're gonna switch to poison real quick, because we had it unlocked already. Yeah, so that's a good reason to unlock more augments on every abilities, you know, doing your on the fly uh, strategizing. We already have the A and X A, uh, AOE cord to work for right. poison whoop, too. Whoop, Whoa! Whoop. <laughs> we have a fire friend here. Let's see. Um, looking at another question. What is the difference between Shadow Mordor death threats and Shadow War death threats? Um, well, the biggest difference is the fact that there is our gear system. I mean, so now you're going to be having people unlocking significantly more interesting. Oh, he already <laughs> fell off. I looked at him really hard. Friend. Nice. All right, so he's sickly. So let's see Wait, if there's a barrel you can poison right. and shoot. Every orc oh, the spider. Oh, the spiders will work brand. great, too. Hot iron on seared flesh. Soon I will brand you as well, and show all of Mordor I own you. He's a Mordor player. He likes to brand. All right. oh, there's a barrel. There's a barrel. Get it all nice and poisoned. That Drake is just following us. Come on. Nice move. Come on, friend. All right, he's going to be a little bit of... Uh, a jerk, so I'm gonna just take him over myself. Is he distracted by your beast there? Oh yeah, bring him to you. Nice. There we go. Alright. Stay right there. Stay right there. Stay. Good man. Quickly, and remember the fear of pinning too. So right. As soon as he gets up, you just pin his foot and he'll lose his immunities. And right, right, right. I'm actually waiting for the poison stuff. <coughs> Hit him with the poison oh, shot. Nice. The oh, nice. Oh, fire again. And oh, the drake boy. is killing me. <laughs> oh, drake. Hi! Can you get runes and gems that make you resistant to poison or fire? Uh, oh, nice! <laughs> His last wow. thing he tried. Whoa! Fire explosions. Uh. And also, your Elven Wrath looks like it's full. Completely full. So if you can find a group, get a big group around you, and we could just get take, ten people. Take this challenge out in one go. Oh, that's awesome. Let's see what we have for the. Uh, I'm gonna get some health real quick. Let's see what also we have for our cloak. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm so within the cloak, uh, currently Ranger's cloak. This is the ooh Rohirrim cloak from Krug. Set a beast on fire. That's oh. gonna be a nice quick one. That'll be quick. And 84 health recovery per beast kill. That's cool. If we unlock it, increases the duration of fire inflicted on enemies by 100%. So that's that'll, nice. That'll be good. It's like a bit of a... So combined... That's, that's the other nice thing is that like if they're on fire for longer, then as they run around screaming, they spread it more since oh. it's it's all you know connecting and spreading throughout all the wooden structures now. That is perfect. Uh, Daisy Warrior 2 wants to know how many licks it takes to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop. I feel like he's just making fun of our statement about sticking to the questions and the, what we're discussing. Uh, well, obviously it's three. Obviously. You know, I have seen the commercials. This is true. Those drakes are being very difficult. Alright, let's... There looks to be a group over here. This feels like a group. Uh, if you get their One, attention and, and uh, get them raising the alarm. Oh, get the alarm to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's get the alarm to go. First, let's set this beastie on fire. Oh yeah, good. So, and there's also an important note to keep in mind, which is that you can unlock multiple things at once. All right, it won't count if the Drake sets it on fire. I have to set it on fire. Uh, so, but if you have multiple items on you, you can unlock multiple items at once. Complete. Let's go ahead and upgrade it too. Yeah. Oh, we haven't shown the upgrade yet. This, uh, this is my favorite bit right now. So. So we, so we go from the level 41 epic Rohirrim cloak, mm -hmm. which we know is from Krook the Firebrander here, but when we upgrade it, turn it into its perfect form, it'll get a little bit more, uh, a little more Tolkien-y. It'll Let's... increase stealth. It will potentially increase how much health recovery per beast kill we get as well. So let's let's see what happens to right. it. And it costs 25 Mirian, which if you guys see we have 10,050. We actually picked up 50. We just, I ran just and grabbed a treasure arc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, I saw a question of <laughs> animal abuse stream. It's fine. It's he's okay, but it's also we knew how to burn him real quick to get him. Thirty-nine. So now this has become the level forty-four firekeeper. Right. And uh, a cloak once worn by a sadistic lord who liked to burn his enemies. So yeah. So that that's the other thing to note that we didn't talk about is the properties on the gear are influenced by 
the interactions you're having with the orcs. So that guy was the firebrander. He had his whole fire thing going on. We lit right. him up. We had Drake's breathing fire all over him the whole time. So right. that all those interactions were pushing the likelihood that we would get a fire-related property out of him. Mm -hmm. So if you're on the hunt for specific gear, you can try and kind of focus your hunting on guys with those properties and exploit those properties and push push yourself further down the tables of likelihood to get the type of property you're looking for. So we got fire stuff going on this guy because he was the fire brander and we lit him up. All right. And uh, also, just quick answer. So a couple people were asking if you can death threat an overlord. Overlord is still in the fortress, so no. It's the no. people who are outside the fortress. Only way to fight an overlord is to go through the assault and get into the inner keep. Right. And then also, I saw a question related to if they're your follower. If they're your follower, no. It's a... Uh, right. They're your follower. I want to take a note at the the, the lining on the, our cloak. Like, I love that it was just right. a green cloak, and now it has, the like, the gold lining yeah, to it. Yeah, that's the other thing about upgrading. Visually, it gets more detailed and a little right. fancier when you upgrade them, too. Look at that. It's an extra shiny. Hey, thanks, Karagor. <laughs> Give me a chance to show everyone off my cloak. You've got to be fashionable. And the Drake is here, too. So. <laughs> All right. So have we gotten enough people yet to... Um, yeah, that Drake is also, like, clearing guys out as, yeah, as they come. Yeah, so. kind of being difficult for that. Um, we could do another mission real quick to see if we can bring a lot more people. Maybe, uh... Oh, oh he's picking up a dude. Nice. <laughs> so, yeah, they're not making it easy for us we to get need, 10 kills. We need that guy. Bring him back. Set him down. Yeah. Let's see. Unload our Elven Rage on him. Right, right, right. Let's go ahead and, um... It's time-wise, we have about uh, 12 minutes. Do you want to go after, um... A legendary guy. Talk about that a little bit. Sure. Let's hunt. Let's hunt down a legendary dude. Cool. You know, there's one in here. Let's go ahead and here we go. So death threat as well, or shall we just go after him? Because let's just let's just go for him real quick. All right. Because uh, you know he's already got legendary gear that's going to drop. So right. the death threat would just make him tougher, which you know that would make it a little more likely to get higher level, but right. uh, but it's not going to push the quality of the gear up. <laughs> he's at all just him. so wonderful. Let's see. Whoa. Hello. Yeah, hit headshot him. Maybe you can ride him over there. I mean, we could ride him over here, over there. I think it would be cool. I do feel we should take an opportunity to admire okay. some of the running. All right. Not against it, though. Let's see. Uh, so, if there's any archers up or dudes along the way, shadow strike your way down the down the path a bit. Down the path a bit. I want to. Yeah, I think or climb up and uh, talon strike your way down the path a bit. I like that too. Actually, pretty close to it. So I'll, I'll start doing. Uh, let's bring in a friend real quick too. That yeah, adds yeah. a nice little bit of speed. Oh wait, should we stick here though to see if we can do the unlock? Uh, because they just that's uh, a good point. Did that's the alarm? Point. They just raised the alarm in this outpost. So yeah. gather right. up some. And then I'm gonna. Here we go. Here we go. Hey everybody. <laughs> Base plant the guy. All right, one, two, three. I'm sorry, friend. We can't have you doing this when we're. Oh, I. No. Oh. All right, I'll just send him away. <laughs> All right. Oh, we got a couple more up here. Perfect. It's almost enough. That Drake oh is making God. this difficult. Yeah, this Drake is legitimately interrupting our trying to unlock our Elven Wrath. Oh, there's a ton of guys over over there. Maybe you can pull it off. Anyway. Ooh, ooh, okay. Yeah, this looks good. Here we go. Here we go. Elven Rage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. ten yes. It. Nice. All right. Let's go ahead and unlock this ability too. I see. Can you death threat and then brand them? You can definitely. Send a death threat, and then when you go face the guy, you break him, just recruit him instead of killing him. Obviously, you won't get the epic gear, but you will get a new follower who is now five levels higher than he used to be. So. Right. Let's go ahead and... Uh, so, 11 health per second, 41% chance when All I... Right. All right, 168. Let's upgrade that beast. Something new. There we go. About time I had a change of pace. So, a lot of times you'll get uh, a nice little quote from your fallen enemy mm -hmm. uh, when you upgrade these things. So, Star Claimer uh, now has a quote from Gubu the Jaded, so you'll always right. remember him. <laughs> There's another question that I think is interesting, which is, what happens if you skip the death threat mission? Shame? Question mark. 
Uh, he will make fun of you, but uh, he's just getting stronger and stronger. Let's see. I'm gonna do a shadow strike or a talent strike over there, real quick. Nice. All right, just because I see people requesting it, real quick. Where is that? There it is. Just so you guys will, because you keep seeing the requests. Sauron's domain is now much smaller. All right, wait, wait for this. Off and badassery. <laughs> nice. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and Nazu the Pathfinder. What's he up to? So, cool, t hunt. Uh, <laughs> Talon Strike. I'm not going to say your name, man. Talon Strike. That's the uh, basically you could shadow strike <laughs> to uh, a, a flat ground piece, something below you, or with a nice little angle. Leading hunt for ghouls in the ghoul hunt. Gotcha, Wolfsbane. Right, lads. Let's bring these monsters in close and keep an eye out for the matron. If you miss a death threat, can you re-death threat? Uh, yeah, you can. You can send another death threat to the same guy later on and uh, and keep pushing on him. Beast fodder. Curse weapon. Epic Caragor rider. Gang of hunters. Gang of hunters. Yeah, so he's gonna be a bit of a tough one. But I mean, if we get to drop some beasts on his head, which. Hold on, we'll start with some flies. Uh, wait, isn't he enraged by that? No, he's terrified? Wait, I'm so confused. <laughs> I, put, I misread something as well. Gain uh, the title of the gutless. <laughs> okay, so you just freaked his shit out, and now he's he's been so embarrassed that his name has changed to the gutless. <laughs> uh, oh, gotta, he's behind us. We gotta get him. Oh, we got him, we got him. Kick! Kick him <laughs> off his Karagor. Oh, and he's got he's got the dire Karagor too, because that's probably because he's got a legendary map. There we go. Hold on, let's make the Karagor a friend. Because he's um Oh, he's gotta get the Karagor. There we go. Oh yeah. All the ghouls are going after him too. Nice. Yeah. Oh look at him go! They're just numbing at him. It's a fun note with the dire Karagors. I don't know if you've ever seen this before, but uh if you mount a dire Karagor and you got other normal Karagors around, yeah. they'll often just fall in line and follow. Cause, really? Because uh, he's the pack leader. I didn't know that. Nice little touch. Uh, oh, wrong guy. Oh, chopping his arms off. <laughs> Camera was looking in a little bit in the face, but there we go. There we go. Cool, so we'll take this guy out. So once you got him terrified like this, yeah, you can just stealth attack to like. It's the same thing as, as exploiting a fear, that's, those temporary days fears, like turns off his... Immunities. Oh yeah. Oh, you took him down with the stealth kill. I did. Ooh. All right. Bow time. Oh, this is right. We can chat to okay. this a little so bit. So the bow of beasts. So we've got the legendary feral bow. Uh, so we can see uh, the the legendary property of this bow is it reduces your mount cooldown by ten percent. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there's the set bonuses for the feral set. So we've got. Shadow mounting unbroken grogs, if you can get two pieces of feral gear on at a time, that means that's a, a huge uh, shortcut. Like, oh, yeah. you bump, especially if you bump into an elemental grog, those guys take a lot to work down. So, right. just bypassing that, hopping right on and wrecking uh -huh. with them is awesome. And then the four piece set, uh, shadow mounting unbroken drakes. Uh, so, the other thing to note here the legendaries can be upgraded multiple times while the epics mm -hmm. and rares you just do once and you bring it up a good chunk right uh the legendaries will stay they can stay with you forever they can be useful and valuable all the way to max level and so we've got these escalating challenges instead of just the one challenge mm -hmm. you got the escalation of uh so in this case recruit an orc from the feral tribe that's level 40 or higher and that'll bring this piece all the way up to level 40 uh it's, it's at 37 so it was already fairly close in this case but like if you if you got one early in the game and it was level fifteen or something, right. then you could still like at this point you could get a uh, a level forty feral guy, recruit him and then upgrade your your old legendary piece that had sort of fallen in mm -hmm. power, bring it back to a, a fresh place where it's usable again later in the game. Right, right. Uh, the other thing to note here is we've got two of these because you had already gotten one of these uh, feral legendary bows, so we can see a little bit of that uh, differentiation. So we've got. 14 versus 13 arrows for one. Yeah, so different uh, different 
ammo count, but we've also got the property. So even though some of these properties are the set legendary piece oh. properties, there's still a randomly rolled property on the legendary pieces. Mm -hmm. So if you're trying to min-max like a very, very specific build, you can see the difference here is 40% chance that headshot curses enemies on this one versus 41% chance that headshot poisons enemies on that one. And so there's that, uh, you know, just another, again, another example of your interaction with the guy mattering right. and being like this really lightweight crafting almost of like if you're trying to get the perfect piece of gear, you drop flies on him, mm -hmm. terrified him with the with the curse more guy flies. Right. So it has this curse property on it. That other one, I'd be willing to bet you had some kind of poison interaction with that guy right, right. to get the poison headshots property. Mm -hmm. So, so and also to let you guys know that it's when you kill a guy or interact with their particular weakness or fear, it's a nudge. Yeah, it's not a guarantee. Yeah, yeah like that guy, the guy that uh, you, we just dropped flies on. You know, like we could have exploited other fears or weaknesses along the way in the battle and mm -hmm. it would have nudged a few different elements towards being more likely than others right. it's still there's still some randomness there but you can influence it a bit right there was a, i saw a couple questions that popped up i was going to track this real quick so you guys can see that similarly to the epic gear you can still track it so you know like you have that in mind and know what to do uh, nice. so that's actually uh the other good use of the death threat mm -hmm. if we were to go into the hierarchy and find a feral guy if he's not quite to level 40 you could death threat him to boost his level up high enough that you could recruit him to satisfy your challenge right. on the legendary gear. Right, right. I saw an interesting comment um, that uh, people were asking about how we stealth killed uh, the guy who was running mm -hmm. from us. It's like, so when they're running from you like that, they have their back on you, which allows you to stealth kill. And running grunts, that works as well. And so yeah. it works. When they're, it's specifically, it's when they're terrified. When they're like, terrified, yeah. It's not just if they're retreating or they happen to be running, like, if they're aware of you and, and they're not completely mm -hmm. emotionally destroyed, right. then you can't do that. But if they're terrified, you've dropped the flies on them. If they're a grunt, that'll terrify them. Mm -hmm. If you do a brutalize and scare the other guys around, those kinds of things, then you can stealth kill guys who are running in just pure panic. Right. I'm admiring this guy in the little cage, pushing the, <laughs> the Omog, he's spinning the, the drill. <laughs> nice. Somebody's uh, yeah. got to... Somebody's got to push it. There was a, a couple other questions that I saw, which I'm going to switch back to us, because, and we'll take a couple of these questions and a little bit of a Q&A kind of thing. Um, of those questions, let me scroll up. Uh, one was, if a captain receives a death threat, would he remember it if he escaped it? Yes. Yeah. Would he remember it? That was that. Another one was related to, if um, you death threat an epic, does it make him legendary? Not necessarily. It's a. Uh, it, they just they level up. Legendary transfer is something different. Yeah, there's there's all kinds of possible stories that can emerge, and becoming legendary is a thing that can certainly happen if you have a really amazing story going with a guy. But all right, right. Uh, I see. Uh, can you scroll down? Feed. Uh, can you still feed a, a random dude until he's totally OP and then recruit oh. him? Yeah, so that's one yeah. of the that's one of the best use cases feed. for for like the death threat loop. Uh -huh. The kind of silly like. Uh, self-destructive death threat loop of right. get that guy you want to be high level death threat him go and just sacrifice your body to him mm -hmm. he levels up even more and then death threat him again right and then let him kill you again and bring him all the way up uh -huh. and actually I'm gonna answer birders and then t talk to that real quick birders can uh, captains come back after getting killed when they were death threaded yes yes they can they can still cheat death yeah assuming you didn't cut off the head <laughs> uh, and then the in that relation, though, you told me I thought was really cool was that if you had um, the level 40 legendary piece of gear and there is a guy that we needed to dominate who was just under that, you could death threat that guy so he would level up and then you could d go and dominate that guy. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I thought that was a fantastic example of using a death threat to level up your legendary gears. Exactly. And uh, I also see this is uh, it, death crow. Is there inventory weight? No, no inventory weight. You nope. collect all the epics and legendaries you want. Right. Let's see, can you send a follower to fulfill your death threat? No. We have a pause on that one? No. No. Uh, you can, I mean, you can make them bodyguard and bring him in to, to help and then just right. get hidden and watch it happen. <laughs> just let it go. I like that one. Let's see. Um, let's see, how frequently can worms occur? So you're saying, just wondering, since now we need three for one, so if you were going to be death threading a captain, um, you use one to death threat, and if you want to get intel on him, you would use one, you could have one more, so that's two. Just 
think you if, actually, if you do the death threat, you actually get the intel as well, right? It, interesting, not in, uh, not in the demo. You get, well, so if it's on a, actually maybe. Yeah, that might be getting, getting a little more advanced here, but if it's an unknown guy, if it's a silhouette, uh, you you learn like the level one intel of him, so to speak. Like you learn his, his name and look and strengths. Right. Uh, but you don't necessarily know his weaknesses. Ah, I see. So you get kind of half of the picture if it's a silhouetted guy that you send the death threat after, I think. Right, right. Uh, it's like what happens if you just meet a guy, but you didn't get the intel on him, I guess. All right. Uh, so um, oh, with that, though, that's uh, the amount of time that we have today. So, guys, thank you for coming by. We're actually we're going to stream again next week, and we have a uh, plan to do mounted skills next week. So that's going to be an interesting one, which and that would have been a perfect time with all the drakes flying everywhere. <laughs> Could have been demonstrating some of that. Uh, for those of you who have other questions in chat, I'm going to be hanging out in chat and just type tapping some question answers. There we go. Tip tapping some answer questions. There. So thanks for coming by. It was a joy to have you all. Thanks, guys. Hope you guys end up using death threats a ton. I personally use them. And just we'll even spend some time going off and playing with some death threats. Probably after the stream sometime. Mm -hmm. Be good. Bye. Bye.